Bitter cold, several nonprofits and churches are opening their doors as warming centers. And KLTV 7's Christine Guevara caught up with one of those groups in Tyler. But if somebody needs to come to get out of the, the weather and receive services, some food, some coffee, um, you know, they need to be ministered to. That, that's kind of what we provide. Highway 80 Rescue Mission's Gateway of Hope building is keeping East Texans warm in these below freezing temperatures. They are also providing food and drinks made by Glenwood Church of Christ. Valentine Garcia spoke on how the cold is affecting him. I work outside and I mean, I mean, it's good. I mean, in a way, like I said, it's good. And in a way, it's bad too. I'd rather be working. And Terry Kofer came in today. Right now, this place is very vital, you know, to the people that's outside that's sleeping, you know, up on the bridge and stuff. And I thank God for that, you know, because where would they go if they hadn't opened their door? Highway 80 opened yesterday and stayed open all night, but are not able to house anyone long term. Just because we're not set up, you know, through the, the fire marshal to be able to house them. So there won't actually be, you know, physical cots or beds that are going to be set up, but they'll actually be able just to come in and, and take seat and, and to get out of the weather. They will continue to stay open throughout tonight. As for tomorrow, they will be closing at 8 p.m. and will reopen Wednesday morning at 8. Really just do whatever you can to, to minister to others and, and to tend to their needs. You know, that's what Jesus has called us to do is, is to tend to the less fortunate and to take what we have in our services and to, to use that to help them. Christine Guevara, KLTV 7 News. And while that was not an overnight shelter, there are some in East Texas. For a full list, open your phone's camera and scan the QR code on your screen or go to our website, kltv.com, and click on the big red box.